Okay, so we got a Jeep here with a cylinder three misfire. That's one cylinder one, cylinder two injector, and cylinder three injector right there. So we're not getting no pulse in there. And uh, the problem here is we got a short in the wire or a bad computer. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to trace this wire down to this ECM right here, engine control module. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of diagrams. So if you, this is a 99. 1999 4.0 Jeep uh, uh, Wrangler. You guys can see it all over here. And uh, customer had done spark plugs, ignition coil. You see all that the goody goody stuff in there. The coil and everything is new in there, if you guys can see. And it still got a misfire though. So I pressed the power off button, shut my camera off by mistake. But anyway, we got the new ignition coil in there, new spark plugs. Was gonna check the injector, but there's no pulse in the injector. The the misfire is not being detected, it, but not being fixed. Uh, customers complain, so I did find out. I put a diode on. I put a um, diode on there, and uh, it does not flicker like it's supposed to go on and off. Um, so it could be a broken wire. It could be the driver inside the ECM that could be a faulty. But um, something like this, you need to pay attention to. Do the basics. Spark plugs, ignition coil, those are all the basics. And uh, so we clearly find out there's a, the injector is not being controlled. And I'm gonna go on my computer and show you probably a couple of diagrams, wiring, schematics, schematics, to trace down this issue, something like this. It could be a broken wire, simple wire to the injector could be affixed. Um, or the, it could be the driver inside. So you would, you would, just like I checked the pulse there, you would check it there as close as possible to the ECM. And if there's no pulse, uh, bad ECM, that's all I could tell you. Other than that, uh, gonna need some electrical work, diagnostic here, but let's go check out the diagrams. So I'm only gonna go into diagrams, nothing gonna be, cause it's too too much of work over here. I do do videos like that, but uh, if I could show you the diagrams, I'm sure you can guys can find out um, the the color codes. So you got a, you got a white cable there with, a, uh, with the, some type of stripe in it, and a green cables in there, so they all got green, it seems like, so it could be green, could be a common. We'll figure that one out. One thing to know here, you got a kind of gray looking connector here, greenish grayish. You got a white connector here, and then you got a black connector here. So the computer, my, my dad is going to show me these computer connectors here. And then uh, there's uh, numbers on the wires in the back of it, or you could go by the color. Sometimes it's in the back. You could check that out. It'll have numbers and stuff on it. So if you guys want to track that down, I'm sure you can. And uh, other than that, on this side, uh, if you look at, this got a green wire and a white looking wire. This thing got a green wire and a white wire. This one has a green and a white wire. So green might be a common either ground or control. Uh, it could be a positive a common or pretty much they all getting ground or positive at all time and then ground would be control or it could be a positive and then uh, it could be a grounded and the positive can be controlled so uh, each one has its own wire control wire and a common wire so we got the ECM here PCM power control module we call it call it ECM so we got drivers for injector number one two three four five six so these are in order just like you'd be cylinder one two three four five six so we're looking at cylinder three right here Cylinder 3 had the yellow, white, uh, yellow, white line, I guess, yellow, white wire. Uh, then we got a, let's go down, dark green, dark green, light green uh, line probably into it. So, pretty much, this is the control cable right here. This is the control line right here. So, pretty much, driver number 3 is controlling this. So, if this fails, you're not going to have no pulse here, okay? So, we do have, uh, like I said, we do have common. All these wires here, the green, all are common. So they're all coming from this fuse, fuse uh, 18, 20 amp. Uh, and that comes from, right from this uh, automatic shutdown relay. That would also cause a power shutdown. So these got positive all times. And uh, with the key on, I believe so. Um, so how do we find this uh, driver number three wire here? So we're looking at um, V6, okay? V6 connector two, okay? V6 connector two, okay? That's the wire we're gonna look for. 
So these would be the wires. So connector number two and the wire number would be B6, six num num wire number six, okay? And you can also pay attention to the 18 and the K13, but that's what it is. Uh, let's take note of that. Just to give you an example, remember the connector. The black connector is the C1 connector. It has wires, one through 11 going across, and then it would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and it will start 22. This is the number 22, and it will be all the way to 32. So right here are A, they will, these wires will be listed as number A's, uh, let's look for, uh, what are we going to look for C2? So we're going to go forward, uh, C2 connector, okay? So C2 connector, the wire we're going to look for is, I said B6, it was actually uh, the, the five, uh, it was a B5 instead of a six. So B5 wire, B5 injector, B B5 injector number three, okay? These, these are hard to make out, okay? These, these B5 will be injector number three right there. So B5. So it's just a pretty much a number five wire. One, two, three, four, five. This would be the wire, if you're looking right at the connector, it's a white connector. So the wire number five, you would check the pulse on that. So you will put a, a diode or a test light to that. This is, remember, this is ground control. So we put a positive and a, and the ground on the other, and the back end of it. So it's shooting out pulse. That means the computer is good. There's no issues with the wiring. If it does have a, a pulse coming out, that means your wire is broken somewhere. Just replace the wire. But that's how you're gonna check. Small little diagnostic can go a long way, and you guys sure would be able to fix this vehicle. And uh, you can check out the rest of the wire. Say injector driver number two, four, uh, sixteen. Just follow the numbers here. So 11 will be the last one here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then uh, we got a 12, 14, and a 12. I'm sorry, 16 and a 15. Uh, driver 12. Driver 6 uh, will be a B12. Driver number 2 will be 15 wire. And driver 4 will be 16 wire. And then uh, you got drivers 1, 3, 5, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, that's everything. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We covered all six. So all the wires are in here in order 11, 1 through 11, uh, 12 through 21, and then 22 to 32. And it is the white connector. C2 is the white connector. All right, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully, this is a little diagram. Trace down helps you guys out. And uh, misfire can be that easy to fix could be a computer sometimes it's intermittent so the drivers will work on and off that could be an issue so you will never find that unless it's completely dies out